Welcome to part two of the iPocalypse. When everything Windows is totally destroying your computer and you have to finally go to an i iPad or iPhone or i whatever their computers are. I've never had one any iPod or anything i anything by Mac or by Apple I've never owned, but so far the last couple years, um, everything by Microsoft is just driving me absolutely batshit crazy. And it's all my programs no longer open up since I switched over to, uh, to they asked if you want to upgrade from Windows 7, which was a terrible, Windows 7 was so terrible. Then I upgraded to Windows 10 and it made it twice as bad. So look at my programs. I used to be able to open up programs like my um, and I just made videos the other week and now they won't work anymore web let's go to webcam here's webcam as I used it all the time to make videos and now all of a sudden with Windows 10 it's not working so here's what it says when I try to open up my webcam to make videos I'm right now taking everything off my computer and putting it onto my portable uh, hard drives. I have a couple terabytes in each one of these hard drives, so I'm moving everything over so I can reboot my system back to factory settings with the Windows 7 because I thought it was bad. Okay, here's my webcam. Let's see if it's going to work today. No. Okay, so it says HP Media Smart Webcam has stopped working. Windows is collecting more information about the program. This might take several minutes, and then it, it'll tell you after a moment you can't open it, and the only thing you could do is to get out of this is it'll close the program. This is what's been happening with all of my HP programs. I have a, this program, this computer is like two years old. It's a really expensive computer. I got it for $750, but it was list priced at about $2,000. Um, this is the uh, HP Pavilion Entertainment PC, which is, should, all these programs worked perfectly before I upgraded to Windows 10. Now nothing works. I've tried to troubleshoot every possible thing, so the only option it gives you is to click here or click here, and it'll, both ways, it'll close the program. So it says close program, if you hit here, if you go here, it does the same thing, it closes the program. Okay, let's look at some of my other programs that no longer open either. Okay, there's other cams, let's see. Uh, camera. Okay, this one's, we used to work pretty good before and now it's all blurry so I made videos before I switched to Windows 10 and it just became all blurry after that let's see how it works today oh it's a little bit clearer today okay well yesterday it wasn't working too well so so at least one of my programs are working now you wanna see what happens if I try to open up a word file okay let's just go to uh, callers on my radio show that's my most recent callers on my radio show. Let me open the old one because this is my newest one's called Callers on my radio show. The old one is called Callers on my show. No, I don't want to give out numbers. So I'll do this one. Okay, open this file. And this is how all my windows works now. I don't want to show phone numbers. What happened to the Oh shit. I'm showing phone numbers. Okay, let me sh try to do another one. Let's do uh, I didn't mean to show people's phone numbers. I actually had a whole long spiel I gave at the beginning of my show at the beginning and I guess I just deleted it when I sent it to a person I thought I copied it I guess I cut and pasted it okay so let's go to another one let's go to access okay access that's another word file access clearing doc let's do this one There's t I have tons of access clearing okay so this is how when how word looks now if I don't highlight the damn fucking text I can't even read I can't even read it because it shows up black on black screen I've tried every way to to change this back to a normal screen and I, I've gone through everything in this Windows 10 I can't figure out how to get it back to normal so this is how all my word files look and if I had to change these to purple so I can see them if they were in black they'd just be black on black so I had to change it to purple or green. These it automatically comes in green. So if I just open up a new word file, look here, I'll just open a brand new one. Okay. It's all in green. It's green on black. But if you open up any other word files where you have any black font, you won't be able to read it. 
And if I send this to someone as an email or as an attachment, they'll get it all in green on white paper, which is really crazy. So they have to change it back to black font. I don't know how the hell this happened. Um, but anyway, this is what happened after... No, I don't want to save that. This is what happened after I, I switched over to Windows 10. So if you, if you get asked to win, switch to Windows 10 and you haven't been stupid enough to do it, don't do it. Because it's a total fucking nightmare. I can't open up half the stuff I used to open up. If I try to... Some of my other things like video editors... Okay, Corel Video Studio 12. This used to be really good for editing videos. Now, if I try to edit two or three videos at the same time, like I put a few of the videos I made on a camera into one video, it'll crash on me. And it never used to crash. And this is the same thing that happened with all my, all my other computers. Like, this is my computer up here. I have another laptop up here that uh, was Windows XP. All my Windows XP computers ran my... Uh, software for recording which I have um, at the time was the best when I bought it was uh, what's the recording program recording audio uh, it's called Pro Tools so all my Pro Tools works on Win worked on Windows XP until Microsoft decided they're no longer going to update Windows XP and all of them stopped working on all my Windows XP computers and there's no way to upgrade the computers um, because Windows stopped up updating Windows XP. So all the money I spent to buy all these programs, they no longer are usable on Windows 10 or Windows 7, which is complete stupidity. So I have to go out and buy thousands of dollars now of programs if I'm if I want to do professional recording. And here's my video stuff. So I'll show you what happens if I try to uh now since I switched to Windows 10, let's just uh insert Timeline. I'm going to insert a few videos. Insert videos. Okay, so I'm going to go to... And look at this. If I want to check, like, uh, for example, I want to change it to different viewing method, it doesn't show here. I can't see how to view it. And I can't view any of the videos or any... Uh, what do they call them? Um... Any pixel files, uh, any picture picture files, I can't see them. And I've tried to every to, every function to try to get it so I can see them, and I can't see them. So I'm going to go to libraries here, go to pictures. Okay, actually, this is, I'm moving all the pictures over, so I better go to videos. I have all my videos in pictures, which is because it's, that's, I, I haven't figured out how to change. Every time I plug in my camera to transfer over, it always transfers them over to pictures, all my videos, but I haven't figured out how to change that either. So anyway, what did I just do? I'm going to go back to the libraries. I'm going to go to the videos this time. Okay, we're pictures, documents, videos. Here we go. I don't have that many videos, but let me just take an example here, Rosina. Okay, here's two videos by my daughter. Now, if I wanted to normally see the like a pix, uh, picture of the video so I know what video I'm using used to be able to do this okay look at this not responding all my programs are not responding or closing out okay it, it did it it worked so one video is there let's see if both videos are there it did the one okay it didn't do two so I'm gonna put the other one and see if the whole program doesn't crash so these are just one video I made of my daughter in my car and I'm going to put the other one, I'm going to try to uh, edit them a little, and you're going to see that it crashes the program now that it's Windows 10, because Windows 10 really sucks. Windows 7 has so many problems too, but the, only, the best one I liked was Windows XP, but they don't now allow you to update it anymore, and all the old programs they used to run on it stopped working after they stopped updating. So I, I think they put some kind of virus in it to destroy it, because they don't want Windows XP anymore. And I try to send my computers to get uh, serviced in Japan, where I live. They say, sorry, your, your program's Windows XP. We can't service your, your computer anymore. Like, okay. So, I bought a computer at a computer store. One year after, this is this one. It's a Panasonic. No, it's not. What is it? Uh, let's look. Okay, this one, Toshiba. Okay, I bought this in America. It's a Japanese... Made in Japan, Toshiba. 
Because this is an English operating system, if I were to say this, after exactly one year, this notepad stopped working. Exactly after the one year warranty ended, it just stopped working completely. So I want to send it to Toshiba in Japan. They say, sorry, we can't work on your program uh, because it's an English operating system, so I'm screwed. If I send it to the U.S., it'll cost all kinds of money, and, and I've tried to do that, and they've said, oh, now you have Windows XP. We don't, work on, we don't, we don't actually work on Windows XP anymore. So you're going to have to put a different... Op so my computer doesn't open, but I have to freaking put a different operating system in it somehow t before they'll actually do any maintenance on it, which mm -hmm. is just totally ridiculous. So this is what I call the iPocalypse, when we're all going to have to switch to Mac, whether we like it or not. I, I never used Mac. I never liked Mac. I tried to use it in my recording software days at, in college, and I just couldn't figure out how to ever use Mac. So I never bought an iPhone. I never bought an iPad. I never bought an iPod. I never bought anything by... S Microsoft, uh, what's it called? Um, Apple. But it looks like Microsoft is going to keep getting worse and worse and worse and worse until I'm going to be forced to finally use Mac. And I have never wanted to use Mac because I can never figure out how to use it because it seems so complicated to me because I never, I wasn't raised on it. So I guess if you were raised on it, you probably know how to use it, but I wasn't raised on it. I was raised, raised on the stupid Windows that keeps getting worse and worse every year. Okay, so we got two videos here. So let's try to edit them and see if the whole computer doesn't crash. Okay, speech, Rezzy, there. Okay, so I'm just going to show you what it would be like if I were to... Let's just have these two videos. I'm not going to even edit them. I'm just going to keep them both together. Okay, so I have one compu one small... It's only how many minutes long? I'm going to sh shorten this up. Okay, it's only two minutes long, and then I have another video here that's uh, less than... It's so small, it... I won't even show when I do it like that. Okay, here it is. The next video is like not even a few seconds. Let's see. Okay, that's all. So I'm going to put these two videos together just to show you now that Windows 10, I upgraded to it. Everything just seems to not work. So let's see if these two programs together get... I'm going to put it into one video. Create a video file. I usually create... WMV because more people can open those and I don't want to do it completely as big as I could but I'm trying to save memory so I do it the next one down okay I'm gonna call this test and I'm gonna put it in Rosina speech folder okay okay it seems to be working I'll come back because lately everything's been crashing as it's saving so we'll see if it doesn't crash this time but it's, it seems like if I were to cut and paste more videos into one thing I've tried to put three or four videos it'll crash by now but I think just these two small videos because they're a total of two minutes and 30 seconds it's not that much but I've tried to put like an hour worth of video to put it all in one DVD and it just totally crashes everything now so if any of you guys have any suggestions on how I can make Windows 10 or Windows 7 now comp work because it's just killing all my programs um, help me out here because it's just driving me crazy alright thanks a lot